In this video of the How-To GAN series, time-of-flight LiDAR applications are discussed. Although LiDAR systems have been used for decades, until recently they've been expensive and bulky. The high performance of GAN transistors has been a key factor in the development of modern cost-effective LiDAR systems by enabling laser drivers with extremely fast high current pulses. First, some of the key specifications of time-of-flight LiDAR transmitters will be discussed. After this point, a detailed explanation of laser driver operation and design will be examined. Finally, examples of hardware implementation and measured results will be discussed for various types of applications, including fastest, highest current, and low voltage. A typical LiDAR system transmits light into the atmosphere or space and detects reflected light from one or more targets located some distance from the LiDAR unit. A conceptual LiDAR system is shown here. Comparison of the transmitted and reflected light makes it possible to determine target properties. The target could be solid, such as trees shown in this example. The target could also be liquid, such as raindrops or even gaseous, like a layer of the Earth's atmosphere. If a laser is used as the optical source, the distance of an object can be accurately measured even at a long range. When combined with steerable optics, it's possible to sweep the location to measure the distance and map the objects in three-dimensional space as seen in the 3D point cloud image here. This ability is extremely useful for autonomous navigation and mapping. Like radar, a basic knowledge of the effect of pulse shape and frequency on LiDAR system performance is helpful in understanding the challenges in laser driver design for LiDAR applications. The key factors are pulse timing and amplitude. Consider first the ideal light pulse with infinitesimal width time per pulse. In this image, the pulse is transmitted, travels to the target, and some portion of the pulse reflects back toward the detector. Wider pulses can overlap, making them harder to distinguish from each other and reducing distance resolution. For autonomous vehicle navigation, the system must be able to identify and track objects around the vehicle, so pulse widths must be as short as possible. Finally, the pulse repetition frequency must be considered. The higher the frequency, the faster data can be generated with obvious benefits for resolution and frame rate. High pulse repetition frequency limits range because transmitted pulses cannot be distinguished from each other. This can be mitigated in a similar manner to enhancing resolution of wide pulses. In particular, pulse spacing can be made variable with a common method being the use of pulse bursts. LiDAR usually uses near-infrared semiconductor laser diodes, most often edge-emitting lasers or vertical cavity surface-emitting lasers or VIXELs. Some typical laser diodes are shown here. When driven with a pulse of current, we get a pulse of laser light whose instantaneous optical power is approximately proportional to the current. It is the job of a laser driver to generate the current pulse, and the driver must control two main parameters, pulse width and amplitude. These two factors have a large effect on distance resolution and the range, respectively. A key laser drive parameter is the inductance of the laser diode and its package. This inductance limits the ability to achieve the necessary short and narrow pulses. Silicon MOSFETs are slow, so this was one factor of many, but the advent of EGAN, this has become a dominant factor. Laser manufacturers have responded to this by improving the package design and reducing inductance dramatically. The simplest and most common laser driver is the resonant capacitive discharge driver shown here. FET-Q1 
discharges capacitor C1 resonantly through stray inductance L1 and laser DL. To overcome inductance L1 and achieve the fastest current rise time desired, C1 is charged to a relatively high voltage, usually 25 to 150 volts. FET Q1 must be able to withstand the voltage, conduct the peak current, and turn on in one nanosecond or less. The EGAN FET is the only readily available cost-effective semiconductor switch that can meet these requirements. The effectiveness of a GAN-based design was tested on the EPC9126 laser driver board shown here. This laser driver uses the 100 volt automotive qualified EPC2212 EGAN transistor. The layout was designed to minimize the total inductance. The design also includes a high bandwidth voltage test point and current measurement shunt. An expanded view of the key section of the design is also shown on the right side with the main parts labeled. Since inductance has a strong effect on design, a surface mount laser was used. This board is also available in a high current ver version, which uses the EPC2001C EGAN FET, which can supply double the peak current with a minor increase in minimum pulse width. The EPC9126 laser driver board uses a Texas Instruments LMG1020 gate driver dedicated to LiDAR applications. This driver is extremely fast and comes in a chip scale package to complement the low inductance of the GAN transistor package. The layout was designed to reduce the PCB inductance to approximately 500 picohenries. With this design, it was possible to achieve the result shown here. The results show a peak current of 69.5 amperes and a pulse width of only 1.66 nanoseconds. The EPC9126HC has the same ultra-low inductance layout as the EPC9126, but uses the higher current capability of the EPC2001C EGAN FET. The larger FET has double the current capability of the EPC2212 for only a relatively small increase in pulse width. The results show a peak current of 135 amperes and a pulse width of only 2.51 nanoseconds. For close-up, high-precision LiDAR applications, indirect time of flight, or ITOF LiDAR, can be attractive. Often referred to as flash LiDAR, it can capture an entire megapixel frame at a time. These LiDARs do not need the extreme power of long-range DTOF or direct time of flight LiDAR, but they benefit from extremely fast edges, very high pulse repetition frequencies. The EPC9144 demonstration board uses the automotive qualified 2216 to meet the needs of flash or ITOF LiDAR. This waveform shows a single pulse from the EPC9144 with a one ohm resistive load. It shows a 9.9 .9 amp pulse with a rise and fall time of 556 picoseconds and 203 picoseconds, respectively. This waveform shows a single pulse from the EPC9144 with a 1 ohm resistive load. It shows an 8.3 amp pulse with a pulse width of 1.1 nanoseconds. This waveform shows a high pulse frequency from the EPC9144 with a 1 ohm resistive load. Individual pulses are 2 nanoseconds wide at 7.5 amperes. The driver is operating continuously at 40 megahertz pulse repetition frequency. The pulse frequency is limited by power dissipation in the resistive load. 
In this video, the benefits of GAN for LiDAR systems was discussed. First, some of the key specifications of time-of-flight LiDAR transmitters was shown. Then, a detailed explanation of laser driver operation and design was examined. Finally, examples of hardware implementation and measurement results were discussed for various types of LiDAR application, fastest, highest current, and low voltage. For more detailed information about GANFETs and ICs and LiDAR applications, please see the third edition textbook, GAN Transistors for Efficient Power Conversion, or view more videos in the How To GAN series. And for more information on eGANFETs and IC products and evaluation kits, go to epc-co.com.